Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to combine track types in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I'm also going to cover how to put different trains on different track types. In order to do this, you're going to need to download OpenRCT2, which is a open source version of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. OpenRCT2 includes a bunch of features that the original game doesn't have. I will leave a download link for that in the description box. Once you have OpenRCT2 installed, you want to open up your scenario or a landscape you've made and you want to go to options. And then you want to go to controls, which is the turning gears icon. And then you want to enable cheats in the toolbar. You have to have cheats enabled for this stuff to work. Um, and then you're going to go to the green shovel that appears in your toolbar and you want to select disable clearance checks. You want to have that checked off for this to work. This will disable all collisions and this will allow you to combine the tracks. Now you're going to want to hit Control alt c and open up the cheats menu. You want to go to ride cheats which is the slide icon and you want to select show vehicles from other track types and show all operating modes. You can also select allow building in pause mode and disable all breakdowns which I recommend. You don't have to, those are optional. But the first two I mentioned are important. Now we're going to go to build a new ride slash attraction and we're going to click on whatever roller coaster type we want to build. Um, for this tutorial I'm using the corkscrew roller coaster and so you just place your station and just kind of start building your coaster however you normally would. Now you just want to build to wherever you want your track to um, switch to another track type. And you select your second track type and for this tutorial I use the twister roller coaster and you want to turn on your height markers for your tracks and then place it at the same height as the last piece of track you placed for your first track type and then you want to build backwards and put a straight piece of track delete the station and then you want to take your first track type and you want to build it forward um, and onto that first piece of the second type so that they overlap. Then after that you can build whatever you want to build um, with the second track type. Here I'm just changing the color of the track um, so that way it you can kind of see the how they overlap a little bit better. You can see that the red track is underneath the white track, or phasing through, not really underneath it. Now you can just build your coaster layout till you reach the point where you want the first track type to intersect again with the old track type. And I decided to, on this coaster, do it right after the brake run. And then once you've reached the point where you want it, the track to intersect again, you just have to build backwards to the point you want the track to intersect at, and then build forward with the second track type so that they overlap. And once you do that, you want to change the mode the ride mode to boat hire mode which will allow you to test and open your ride without um, a error saying oh this isn't a complete circuit um, so it should work some cars don't work on certain tracks and some do it's just um, 
And if you use a tr coaster that doesn't have a bank drop, also it won't work with the bank drop. It will follow the path correctly, it just won't bank the cars. Putting cars on different track types is a lot easier than combining track. Um, once you've selected show all coaster types, you just have to go to your tr the train options, and then you just have to change the type of train and uh, with the with the top pull down menu. And I'm using the looping coaster trains, which is strangely just labeled as a roller coaster trains. Um, and I just used it with like a spiral lift coaster. Now, sometimes, because, like, for example, with the spiral lift, these trains really aren't designed to go on this kind of gentle of a slope. The trains kind of tilt up more than they should going up the lift, but. I don't know if that really looks that bad. It, I mean, it's kind of up to you whether or not you... If you were to build something like this, it would be kind of up to you to decide whether or not it looked bad. I, I really can't tell you if I, if I like it or not. Um, and you can just run these in continuous circuit mode because they're not multiple track types. Now, um, one of the other cheats you can use is um, to you can add chain lift to any track piece. Um, that's another cheat that you can select. And so with this, you can do a steep reverse lift with a wooden coaster, for example. And then because we selected show all operating modes, you can use the reverse incline lift mode to create a shuttle wooden coaster with a reverse uh, lift which is really pretty cool um, I think and you just want the reverse incline launch shuttle mode So that's the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. I hope I was clear enough on how to do um, the track combining. I, I'm not really great at describing things sometimes so um, if you guys have questions just let me know. Thanks for watching guys and let me know if there's any other tutorials you would like me to do.